Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel and uh, today we've reached another milestone that is showing us that the next version of Windows 10 is getting closer uh, by the minute or at least day by day. So in the Insider Rings Windows 10 2004 is now in the release preview. This is the last step before we reach the official release to everyone. And that means that usually we are a couple of weeks away, a few weeks away from actually getting this new version. So um, rumors are that it's probably going to be released, of course, in May. And rumors are that it's going to be called the May 2020 update. So that's the new information we have as it is now moving on in uh, the release preview. So what's the release preview? Well, it's a last testing phase if you want. And kind of tells us that if you are on this version, the bill 19041.207, because that's the latest number we have in the bill number, is deemed to be the official version. So this means we are only a few weeks away. That also means that if you are waiting for this, if it's something that you want to have, it's going to start rolling out slowly. Usually it will go into the different steps that Microsoft usually wants to use. That is the seekers first. Seekers are the ones that go to check Windows Update. And we'll see this appear on this uh, Windows Update on their computers. Then they'll slowly start pushing it to people that are on the versions of Windows 10 that are um, to expire. I don't know if that includes tw uh, October 2018 update that technically was supposed to be um, expiring in May. Uh, maybe not since they are now moving that to November 2020. But um, the other thing that is important to know is this is not going to be shoved in your face unless you're at a version of Windows that is really outdated. So this means at some point it's going to show up as a optional download and update. This is a big version of Windows. That means this is one of those Windows installs that are going to take a long time. Download, install, several hours in some cases. You'll have to let it do what it has to do. Um, once again, like I always say, be patient. Some people are not patient enough. They think that, you know, when something downloads and updates uh, and it's stuck at a certain place that probably it's frozen or has problems. You know, the number of problems in Windows that are caused by people stopping, simply, you know, shutting down their PC because they think it's uh, probably not okay is very high. And a big chunk of people that have problems in Windows 10 are in that category. They just didn't wait. That meant that they stopped the process in the middle of what happened, and then they wonder why Windows is unstable or broken. So it's coming, it's coming, and uh, basically if you are into getting this, wait for it to arrive, don't force it. Remember that if you don't see it when it starts rolling out, that probably means your PC is still not yet fully compatible. A lot of the times, it's the antivirus that is like that. If you have a third-party antivirus other than Windows Defender, it often is the case. They have to update the software before this works. Sometimes it's outdated drivers for some of your hardware. And uh, basically, you don't really have to go here if you're not. You know, if, you're, if you have a, a Windows 10 PC that runs well and has one of the recent versions, you don't really need to move to this right now. So uh, anyways, it's not available yet, but it's very soon to be available. And pretty much tells us that May is the time when this is released and probably will be called the Windows 10 May 2020 update. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.